Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar, and here's a brand new halacha for you, and it is for Sunday, the 19th day of June. Here we go. How to make instant coffee on Shabbos. That's today's subject. I just want to tell you real quickly that uh, one of the rules you'll need to know to understand this is something that's called Ein Bishul Achar Bishul. Now, what that means is that on Shabbos, of course, you're not allowed to cook anything. Um, but what happens if I cook something that's already been cooked? Uh, and theoretically, I'm not really accomplishing anything because this was a cooked item and now I'm just like recooking it. So there is a rule. Don't ever apply this wrongly on your own. There's just a general rule that you should know, which is called Ein Bishel Achar Bishel, which means cooking doesn't really happen after something is already cooked. And some people might want to apply this rule to coffee and say, go ahead and pour your hot water right onto your instant coffee and don't worry about it getting cooked up because the coffee item has already been cooked in the process of it becoming instant coffee. And so you're just recooking a cooked item and maybe it's okay to have your hot water poured. You better keep listening because it's going to change in a second. So maybe it's okay to just pour my hot water directly onto the coffee grains, the pre-cooked ones, because cooking after cooking is no big deal. So that's why some people might have wanted to be lenient and say, go ahead and pour your hot water right onto the coffee powder. But the halacha is, most rabbis say that it's not so safe to do that. And that's because we're not sure that when that instant coffee arrives in the jar to you, if it's really halachically called cooked. I know they did stuff to it to make it become instant coffee, but maybe that wasn't officially called cooked. And therefore, when you pour the hot water on it, you're cooking it and you're not allowed to cook on Shabbos. So therefore, pouring the hot water directly from the hot urn, directly onto the coffee grains, might be a problem. Second reason that it might be a problem is because if you have a liquid that was once cooked, and it got all cold and then you reheat it, you're not allowed to reheat a cold liquid. And if you say, but I already cooked it, so it's cooking after cooking and it should be fine. No. See, recooking a cold liquid is called cooking. And some people think that that rule might end up applying to the coffee grains. Maybe it's called something that's getting recooked, like cold. I know the coffee grains aren't exactly liquid, but they're going to disappear into the water and they're acting like a liquid. So just in case I confused you, here's the bottom line. The bottom line is unconfusing. Most rabbis say that what you should do is this. Don't pour the hot water directly from the urn onto your coffee grains, your instant coffee, because it might be a problem of cooking. The better thing to do is have that water poured into an empty cup and then pour from that empty cup then onto your coffee grains then the water is not so hot anymore because it went from an urn into a cup and then by the time it gets to your coffee grains it's like removed from the hot 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 water and some people do this twice uh, just to be extra safe they'll have the urn water run into a cup and then cup a pours into cup b and then you can put the coffee grains into that second batch of water and that would be fine so just in case i confused you here's the summary hot water should not go directly onto coffee grains it should go into an empty cup and then the empty cup, maybe to be extra safe, should go into another empty cup. And then in that third cup, that's where the coffee making happens. Thanks for logging on and log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.